Hello, Pokemon Professor Ryan here, and welcome to another edition of Pokemon Explained. In today's video, I'll be discussing everyone's favourite rodent, Mickey Mouse! Ugh, oh, that joke was shocking. But in all seriousness, you probably read the title of this video, this is Pikachu Explained. And in today's video, I'll be doing a shiny giveaway. Keep watching to find out how you can win. Pikachu, the mouse Pokemon. It can generate electric attacks from the electric pouches located in both of its cheeks. Pikachu's national dex number is 25. Pikachu is a short electric mouse Pokemon. It has yellow fur, red cheeks, and long pointy ears with black at the tips. It has short arms and legs and a thunderbolt shaped tail. Pikachu is well known as the Pokemon mascot. Pikachu fills this role perfectly as it's got the right balance of being cute and being cool, making him very likeable. Over the years, Pikachu has been in various different media, including many Pokemon games, TV shows, books, dozens of animated Pokemon movies, and even the live action Detective Pikachu movie. Pikachu is so iconic that people who aren't even familiar with Pokemon can recognize it. Pikachu's face has been on everything from food packaging, Pokemon cards, figures, toys, plush, clothes, and countless other things. Even transports such as cars, trains, buses, and even planes. Part of what makes Pikachu so iconic is the fact that he is Ash's starter Pokemon in the anime. On the day Ash began his Pokemon journey, he woke up late, and by the time he got to Professor Oak to receive his first Pokemon, all of the normal starter Pokemon were already taken by other new trainers. Ash really wants the Pokemon though, so Professor Oak offered him a Pikachu. This particular Pikachu doesn't like being in its Pokeball, for this reason it is always outside of its Pokeball. At first, Pikachu was a lot of trouble and didn't get along with Ash, but when Ash protected it from a flock of enraged Spearow, Pikachu began to respect Ash, and the two have been best friends ever since. Pikachu appears on the cover of Pokemon Yellow, which is like red and blue, but has some changes to make it more like the Pokemon anime. In Yellow, you can't evolve the Pikachu you receive from Professor Oak. Yellow is my favourite way to play the Generation 1 games, as it has more colour, and the Pokemon sprites are much closer to how they look now. If you go back and play Pokemon Red and Blue, the sprites are a lot uglier, and some of the Pokemon designs have been heavily altered. More recently, there is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, which is kind of like a yellow remake, but with Pokemon Go aspects. Pikachu's gold Pokedex entry reads, This intelligent Pokemon roasts hard berries with electricity to make them tender enough to eat. I like this Dex entry a lot, especially in combination with its Ruby Pokedex entry. Whenever Pikachu comes across something new, it blasts it with a jolt of electricity. If you come across a blackened berry, it's evidence that this Pokemon mistook the intensity of its charge. Pikachu is 40 centimeters tall, or 1 foot 4, and weighs 6 kilo, 13.2 pounds. In the anime, Ash walks around with a 6 kilo animal on his shoulders all the time. Hell, sometimes Pikachu even sits on his head. Man, his shoulders must be sore. Pikachu can evolve into Raichu by using a Thunderstone. Raichu, a mouse Pokemon of the electric element. Raichu is the evolved form of Pikachu. It can shock with more than 100,000 volts, enough to render a Dragonite unconscious. Raichu is number 26 in the National Dex. Raichu has a really cool design. It has orange fur with a white belly. Its cheeks are no longer red and are now yellow. Its ears are quite different looking than Pikachu's. It has brown at the end of its hands and feet. I particularly like its tail. It looks like a black power cord with a large yellow lightning bolt at the end. In the anime, Ash has had several opportunities to evolve his Pikachu, such as in episode 14 of the original anime, Electric Shock Showdown, which is actually the first ever episode of Pokemon I saw as a kid. In this episode, Ash takes on the electric gym leader, Lieutenant Surge. His Raichu easily overpowers Ash's Pikachu. After the defeat, Ash receives a Thunderstone and gives Pikachu the opportunity to evolve. However, Pikachu refuses, and Ash respects that his buddy doesn't want to evolve, and instead the two come up with a different strategy to beat Surge. My favourite Pokedex entry for Raichu comes from Pokemon Emerald. If it stores too much electricity, its behaviour turns aggressive. To avoid this, it occasionally discharges excess energy and calms itself down. Raichu is twice as tall as Pikachu at 80cm tall, or 2'7", and weighs 30kg, or 66.1 pounds. 
Pikachu in the Alola region evolve into Alolan Raichu. So why does Pikachu evolve differently in Alola? Well, obviously it's because Pancakes. Its Sun Pokedex entry states, It only evolves into this form in the Alola region. According to researchers, its diet is one of the causes of this change. And according to its Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee Pokedex entry, it loves pancakes prepared with a secret Alolan recipe. Some wonder whether that recipe holds the key to this Pokemon's evolution. Alolan Raichu is both Electric and Psychic type, which is a type combination currently exclusive to only this Pokemon. Alolan Raichu is a darker orange colour. It has white meringue-like hands and feet. It has yellow spiral looking ears, and blue and yellow eyes kind of reminding me of the beach, what with the yellow sand and the blue water. Its tail has a brown cord instead of black, and the lightning bolt has rounded edges. It uses its psychic powers to ride on its tail like a surfboard. Alolan Raichu is slightly smaller than Raichu, at just 70cm tall, or 2 foot 4. And it's lighter too, weighing 21 kilo, or 46.3 pounds. Pichu, the tiny mouse Pokemon, the pre-evolved form of Pikachu. Despite their size, Pichu release bursts of electricity that can shock even humans. However, Pichu are unskilled at controlling their electricity and sometimes release it by accident, when surprised, or when laughing and shock themselves. In Generation 2, they added the breeding mechanic which gave pre-evolutions to some existing Pokemon. Pichu is the baby form of Pikachu. Pichu's national dex number is 172. Pichu is a very cute looking Pokemon. Its fur is a lighter yellow colour, with pink cheeks instead of red. It has large ears and a little black tail. It looks like what you would imagine a baby Pikachu would look like. Pichu made its first appearance in the Pikachu short, Pikachu and Pichu, a special tied into the third Pokemon movie where Pikachu gets separated from Ash and goes on an adventure with the Pichu Bros. Pichu is only 30 centimeters tall, or 1 foot tall, and weighs only 2 kilo, 4.4 pounds. Pichu's Alpha Sapphire Pokedex entry states, When Pichu plays with others, it may short out electricity with another Pichu, creating a shower of sparks. In that event, this Pokemon will begin crying, startled by the flash of the sparks. It's very cute. Pichu can evolve into Pikachu when leveled up with high friendship. Pichu has the lowest base stat total of all electric type Pokemon, with a total of just 205. It has a measly 20 HP and only 15 defense, meaning it has the 4th lowest HP and the 4th lowest defense of all Pokemon, making Pichu extremely fragile. Pikachu's stats aren't great either but they are way better than Pichu's. It has a base stat total of 320. Its HP and defense is still really low though. Pikachu is a mixed attacker with good speed. Pikachu still isn't very strong though, and you are much better off evolving it to Raichu. However, if you really want to use Pikachu, you can make it a lot stronger by giving it a Light Ball. Light Ball is Pikachu's exclusive held item, which doubles Pikachu's attack stats. To obtain a Light Ball, you usually have to find a Pikachu holding one. Why would Pikachu have a 5% chance of holding one? From Emerald onwards, if you breed a Pikachu holding the Light Ball, the Pichu will know the move Vault Tackle, which is the signature move of the Pikachu Lion. Raichu's stats are a lot better than Pikachu's, with a base stat total of 485. Its HP and defense are still really bad though, but its attack, special attack, and speed stats are all pretty solid. Alolan Raichu's stat spread is slightly different. It has 5 less attack and defense, but has 5 more special attack and special defense. The Pikachu Lion's regular ability is Static, which has a chance of paralyzing the opponent when they attack with a move that makes contact. Its hidden ability is Lightning Rod, which draws in all electric type attacks, makes them immune to electricity, and raises their special attack stat. Alolan Raichu has the unique ability Surge Surfer, which doubles the Pokemon's speed stat on electric terrain. Being a pure electric type Pokemon, the Pikachu line is only weak to ground type attacks, and resists flying, steel, and other electric attacks. Alolan Raichu on the other hand, is electric and psychic type, making it weak to ground, bug, ghost, and dark, and resists fighting, flying, steel, Electric and Psychic. P 
Pichu and Pikachu usually live in forests or woodlands, and they often live in groups. Pikachu is catchable in all main series Pokemon games except Black, White, Black 2 and White 2. Pikachu and Raichu have minor gender differences. Female Pikachu have a different shaped tail, kind of resembling a heart shape, while female Raichu have a similar tail, but the tip of the lightning bolt is missing. Shiny Pichu is a darker yellow colour and has red cheeks making it look more like Pikachu. Shiny Pikachu is more of an orange colour and its cheeks stay red. Shiny Raichu is an even darker orange and its tail and cheeks are a light brown colour. Shiny Alolan Raichu is brown and its cheeks, ears and tail are all orange. Thanks to my friend Rowan, who generously bred some shinies for the channel, you have a chance to win a shiny Pichu with Volt Tackle! To enter, subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments below which is your favourite, Pichu, Pikachu, Raichu or Alolan Raichu. Entries close one week from now and the winner will be announced in next week's Pokemon Explained video, where you will have another chance to win a shiny Pokemon. For more details, check the description. Speaking of shinies, in Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, there was an event to get a Pikachu coloured Pichu. Technically, it's just a shiny Pichu, but if you got the shiny Pichu from the event, you can also get a spiky eared Pichu from an in game event. Another event Pokemon is Cat Pikachu, an event Pokemon from Gen 7. There are seven different Cat Pikachu, one for each of Ash's caps in the Pokemon anime. Each of these Pikachu come with a different move corresponding to the attacks Ash's Pikachu had in that season of the Pokemon anime. Cosplay Pikachu can be obtained in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. It is a female Pikachu with a black heart shaped mark on its tail. This Pikachu can wear five different outfits. Each outfit comes with a different move that Pikachu is normally unable to learn. Pikachu Rockstar comes with the steel move Meteor Mash. Pikachu Bell comes with the ice move Icicle Crash. Pikachu Popstar comes with the fairy move Draining Kiss. Pikachu PhD comes with the electric move Electric Terrain. Pikachu Libre comes with the fighting type move Flying Press. Pikachu Libre also appears in the fighting games Pokémon Tournament and Super Smash Bros. Speaking of Super Smash Bros, Pikachu and Pichu are both playable characters in the game, with Pikachu being in every iteration of Super Smash Bros. In Pokémon Let's Go Pikachu, the partner Pikachu you start the game with is special. This Pikachu has higher base stats than normal and has access to special moves exclusive to this Pikachu. In Pokémon Sword and Shield, Pikachu was given a Gigantamax form. To obtain a Pikachu capable of Gigantamaxing, you need to have save data for Pokémon Let's Go Pikachu on your Switch console. You can get this Pikachu real early in game from the train station in front of the wild area. This Pikachu also has max IVs. In its Gigantamax form, Pikachu is fatter and looks more like its original design from the early games. You can get a Pikachu with Surf in the Gem 1 games from Pokemon Stadium. If a Pikachu uses Surf in Stadium, it will jump on a pink surfboard, and if Raichu uses Surf, it rides on its tail instead. In Gem 1 and 2, Pikachu using Surf in the Overworld will have its own unique sprite. There is also a Surfing Pikachu minigame called Pikachu's Beach that is exclusive to Pokemon Yellow. It requires you to have a Pikachu with Surf to play. In Pokemon Let's Go, your partner Pokemon learns the secret technique Sea Skim, which lets them ride on a surfboard and is a callback to the original Surfing Pikachu. You can also get a Pikachu to ride a surfboard in the Pokemon spin-off Pokemon Snap. And the biggest defender for Pikachu variants is Pokemon Go, which currently has 11 different Pikachus so far. My favourite being Straw Hat Pikachu, as it is part of a One Piece collaboration for the 20th anniversary of One Piece. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a comment down below on which is your favourite member of the Pikachu family for your chance to win a shiny Pichu. And even after the competition is over, please leave a comment down below on which is your favourite member of the Pikachu family, as I'd really like to know which is the most popular. There'll be more Pokemon Explained real soon, so subscribe to so you don't miss next video, and I'll explain you later!